What's up everybody, my name is Brendan and this is Big Bear Be Created. Welcome back to another Sunday episode and if you've been here for a while, you know what we're doing today. If you're new here, well, we're going to be doing a photo editing video. We do these every week, so make sure you subscribe if you like photo editing videos or if you just like photography in general because we do a lot of how-tos, tutorials, and stuff like that on Fridays. And every now and then I'll throw in a little graphic design video, maybe a little something about videography. This week I had a Wednesday uh, video that came out that was all about a new design that we did on a t-shirt. or It was for a bunch of apparel, but it was a really nice design, so I'll link that in the iCard above. Check that out if you want. But that's enough of all this whole intro thing. You're here to watch this photo edit. So we're going to jump on over to my computer and get started with this. All right, so now we're over my computer. This is the photo that we're going to be editing today. And basically the whole purpose of this edit is that we're really going to try to bring out the highlight on this deer and then kind of just mess with a little bit of the colors, maybe add a little bit of a kind of glow, excuse me, kind of a little bit of a glow to the video or the photo. And kind of just bring this back because referring back to the shutter speed rule that we talked about last week, this one, as we can see, is very similar to also last week's photo edit that we did of the deer that was basically in a very dark photo. You couldn't really see anything, then we brought it back. This one is very much on the edge, just like that one is, of um, basically shutter speed rule to where it's technically, it's in focus, it's sharp, but it's not as pinpoint sharp as you would want. So another thing we're going to do with this just to kind of fix, not necessarily fix that, but kind of just go with that aspect of the photograph and kind of enhance it. It's going to make it a little bit more painterly looking to look like an actual um, painted photo, not a photograph, but a painted landscape or nature scape, whatever you prefer to call it. So we're just going to start again up top. I always start with my raw development because that basically sets the stage for all the other developers. Not developments, but sliders that we are going to do. So I'm just going to raise it up a little bit, but I don't want to bring it up too much because as we can see when we do that, it does really bring out a lot of the grain in the photo, which we will fix with our other sliders as well. And I always got to add some contrast. I like my contrast. So I'm going to actually lower these highlights, even though we're trying to bring out a little bit of the highlights. And that's just because we have this road back here that it gets a little bit too bright at times. So I'm going to try to just lower that a little bit. And then I'll just increase a little bit of the whites to kind of counteract the lowering of the highlights. And the blacks are just going to darken a little bit, add a little bit of clarity. So, so far it's looking a lot better. We could even go look at it as it was before. Again, we're brightening a lot of things. You're seeing a little bit more of that highlight, specifically the sun hitting the side of this deer. Um, now we're gonna focus a little bit more on that noise, the pixelation that's happening. Just try to clean that up a little bit. We're just gonna use the noise denoise, the denoise slider and just go ahead and boost that up all the way. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of saturation and vibrance into this photo, but we are going to actually change a little bit of the colors later on. And that's too much. Love the slider, but sometimes it just goes a little bit too hard. <laughs> and in this photo, it looks like it's taking the street and thinking that's the sky, but it's also messing with the background color and the forest. And I kind of like that it brings out a little bit of kind of looks like moss on the trees. So I'm going to add a little bit of that and then also add a little bit of this dehaze. Looks pretty good right there. And again, advanced contrast is a great slider um, filter, I guess you could say. It's under their filters. Uh, just just kind of mess with to get the exact kind of highlights that you're looking for. Have that be a little bit more in the middle. Oh, that looks weird. So I'm just going to do that a little bit, but I'm not going to have that be up all the way. Really broad things. It's going to just going to have that go up a little bit, and then bring that a little bit down. And then I'm just going to see what it looks like without those changes. 
and then what it looks like with it. So it kind of just, again, it brings out a little bit more of those highlights, which is again, what we're looking for. I'm talking about the actual changes that I'm gonna do. The green of the grass is just a little bit too bright for me. So I'm actually gonna go in and darken the grass just so that I'm not kind of losing what the focus of this photograph is, and it's of the deer, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of change the color of that again, just so that we're not losing the focus here. And I'm gonna bring in a bit more of the orange. And a little bit of yellow as well. Do I wanna add any red? To see what the red does. Eh, I don't really like what the red was doing to the ears, so I'm just gonna double click the number and set that back to normal. And then again there we could see just the drastic change that changing those colors really does to the photograph. And that's really just gonna again make sure that the focus of this photograph is on the deer itself, not anything that's going on behind it. And like I said, we we're wanting to make this look a little bit more painterly. So that's way too much, but we are going to lower the structure and that's really the easiest and simplest way to get that kind of effect is just to lower the structure slider. Because what it does basically, you keep the overall detail of what's happening, but it's gonna lower the harsh lines between them without losing contrast all over the photograph. Because once you know, I like my photograph, my photo, obviously I like photographs. <laughs> um, I like my contrasts gonna add a bit of a vignette. I'm gonna make it seem really dark, but then I'm going to basically move it out. So once again, kind of like again, like last week's, I'm just gonna have the vignette just touching around the edges. Then to boost that even more, I'm gonna add a little bit of an inner light. And when there again, we can kind of see the, the difference that that does to this photograph. And do I want to add any bit of small detail enhancer, or do I want to take away? No, that just makes it look really blurry. <laughs> All right, let's add a little bit of the small detail. Polarizer, again, that's gonna mess with that street in the back. That just makes it look weird, so I'll just leave that up. Add a little bit of sharpening. Maybe add a little bit of light foreground, or in this case, the bottom. See what it looks like from before. So it's looking pretty nice. I want to see what adding a little bit of a soft glow will do. So let's go ahead and just bring that in. Maybe. Doesn't really seem like it's doing much. Weird. Normally this slider actually does something, but it doesn't look like it's doing anything in this one. So we're we'll just get rid of that. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit of a fail there. Um, let's then see if golden hour would look nice here. Because this was actually taken very close to golden hour, if not a little bit after golden hour. It's a little bit much, so maybe I bring down the saturation. How does that look? Any different? It does bring out a little bit of the reds, which I think does add a nice little extra amount of detail to this. So overall, the photograph is still a little bit darker, but again, that's because we had to use that shutter speed rule and it could raise up the exposure a little bit more just to kind of brighten and get that um, histogram a little bit more towards the middle. But I'm going to keep it as this is just because I don't want to bring back a lot of that pixelation or noise that we work to get rid of and whatnot. So again, we're going to go to a nice little single shot of this, let you guys get a nice up close and personal view of it, and then we'll jump back over to me over there.
hope you guys like how this photo editing turned out. Let me know down in the comment section what you think. If you like the way that I went with the edit to kind of make it look more like a, a painted feel just because it wasn't exactly as pinpoint sharp because of the whole shutter speed rule that we talked about in last week's video. And also let me know if you've liked these edits with the wildlife and the deer and stuff like that. I haven't taken too many wildlife photos. I could probably count on about single hand about how many I've taken but something I really enjoy doing one just because you get to see these amazing animals so if you guys like wildlife photography again make sure you're subscribing if you just like photography in general make sure you subscribe and if you did like the way this editing turned out and what we did in this video also make sure you're smashing that like button one it just lets me know that you're enjoying this content and to keep making more and it's also going to help me promote it to other people who like it as well so make sure you guys are doing that you can check out my social medias as well to, to kind of get updates on when videos are coming out see photos that I've already posted or anything like that you also might have a chance to vote on what thing we're going to be doing on that next Friday or Saturday or, or not Saturday Sunday or anything else like that so make sure you're checking those out I'll link them right here on the screen or not really link them but I'll show you them here on the screen then also they're down in the description as well also down in the description something you might want to check out is my link to my merch page which is going to have my apparel and my photo prints on them my merch those are all those are sold on my merch page in teespring those are all the graphic designs i've done on this video and they're all printed on eco-conscious apparel and they're all nature-based designs so if you really love nature it's a great way to support it as well as support me and then the photos another great thing as well those are on my merch page as as well as zazzle so you can purchase some nice landscape photography for your home i think i have one wildlife photo on there i wouldn't really say wildlife they're kind of they seem a little domesticated but there were a bunch of seals that were playing in one of the little ports in uh, san francisco so make sure you guys check those out if you're interested in anything like that thank you for watching this video hope you guys have a great day be safe during this time and go be creative mm -hmm.